Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are, all of us, leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality. Effect Andromeda. What's going on, everybody? It's Monkey Boy Blue and Peachy does too. We're playing Mass Effect, as you can totally see here, 634 years later. So I guess this is where everything starts. So first of all, before we get started, we've seen up until the point where the first big thing happens. Not going to spoil it because we're going to play it, so yeah. And I'm pretty sure you'll know. Specialist Pathfinder Mission Team. Pathfinder Team, eh? The ones finding us a home. Can you make it somewhere tropical? Nice, warm ocean? Summer year-round? How about we get her a cup of coffee first? I wonder how it feels to be freaking frozen for 600 years. Does it feel like you just took a nap and woke up, or what? <laughs> mm, maybe. But you were, like, taking a nap in, like, ice. Like, ice tub or something. Right. Let's get you checked out. Look here. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for golden worlds, the Helios cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? for a little adventure before we settle down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah? Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your Sam implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you 
feeling well. I feel like a 600 year old popsicle. I hope you drink more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your brother. It always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. Whoever is flying this big ship, they did not see all that. <laughs> like, you can't steer clear of that. He was like <laughs> freaking twirling up upside, upside down and stuff. This is Cora. I'm at the cryo bed. Brace for a reset. Everyone okay? I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. Feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get. Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Scott Ryder. Oh, so he was tossed around, mm -hmm. and the thing that was supposed to open it is messed up now. Mm -hmm. Wow. I wasn't paying. I was paying attention when I first seen this, but I wasn't like seeing everything. Where you going? What? This is optional. Check on your brother. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Ryder, is my brother okay? Scott's fine. His vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can he wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam? My connection to Scott's implant was suspended. However, his pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep him in a low-level coma for a while. Then let his body regain consciousness naturally. He'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Oosh. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door whenever you're ready to go. I'm ready. That's crazy. You ready? Hello there. Why don't I remember this? Quick rider, use it to locate the ball. On it. I'll try to get readings on the second conduit. Oh. Conduit. Where do we hear that from? From uh. What? No. From um. Yeah, Bioshock. Okay. I don't remember. No, not Bioshock. It was. I remember Cole. Dead space. No, no, no. It's. The, it's the ah, it's the game with Delson in it, and he gets the different powers. Oh, and they're called yeah. conduit. Infamous. Yes, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Job, I don't know why I was thinking about shock. It's far from this. I mean, they have like you know powers and stuff, but it, no one's named conduits in there. Right. Look at those years. Like we're in 2017. It was like 28. 17 or stuff like that is crazy. Wow. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Looks like you have a choker on or something. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. Like, you're the driver of the ship. You didn't see this. 
He just drove right through it. Oh, this is not going to hurt us. <laughs> Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need ice out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. Alec, please. You may be Pathfinder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs... Your dad has the same color eyes as you. Solid That's ground. about it. <laughs> if it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Alec, I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? Your father's got a point, though. Solid ground sounding pretty good right now. Yeah, but... Pretty good isn't good enough. Well, excuse yes, me. We're coming through. Dang. You see that look? Mm -hmm. My God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. You sure don't look golden. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. Can we just get this technology now? Right. She's right. It looks pretty dicey from here. Are we sure about those scans? It's a good question. Things can't change. It's been 600 years. Sam. The energy from the phenomenon is dumping on Sam. It's Sam. It's the robot. I don't see no robot. We're marooned. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. And... If Does not, then we just wasted a bunch of time. Right. The team should be awake by now. But I guess we have to check. Planet fall at 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? No one ever said Dad was a diplomat. People skills were never his strong suit. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. Y'all are. Right? Y'all seem to be getting We're along too well. What is that? My brother's going to hate that he missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in our blood. I was born a minute ahead of him. I never let him forget it. Don't worry. I'm sure Scott will pull through. Yeah, and when he does, he'll want to hear stories. So, let's get out there and find him one. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The, the good what? luck rock? It's an old superstition of your dad's. You guys can pause that and read it if you need to. If you want to. Crashing the party, huh? Oh, sorry. Kirkland and Greer. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. You don't say anything about what's going on? It was all business. Told us to prep and be ready to go. Short and sweet, huh? Will do. See you guys on the ride down. Grab my helmet. Got it. Can I wear that stuff? That red looking stuff? Are we expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Look at all that stuff in there. Can I just take <laughs> just take a couple weapons? Jeez. Or some ammo or something like. Right. 
Here's Scott's uh, locker. In there, Scott. Saw that in there. He got a red suit. Looks like Dad's already suited up. What's in there? Grenades? Let me get some of those. All right. <laughs> so just another boring day at the office, huh? I figure it's a chance to show everyone what we can do. Go out there and earn our stripes. You're Alex's daughter, all right. I always wondered what it was like when explorers crossed the ocean. Nothing but stars and dead reckoning to guide them. And a map that said, here be dragons. Well, if they made it, we can too. And maybe see a dragon along the way. Never know. Let's keep an eye out. And our distance. <laughs> On that note, time to get to the shuttle. So I'm wondering, did um, did we were we the only ones who were frozen? I think in the opening, those people who were flying their ships were frozen. Like flying there, and then they froze them for six hundred years. Mm -hmm. And this is six hundred years later, uh, and they're waking up now. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. It's what we hope it is. It'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, Joker, team, huh? Up. We leave in five. You need to be Sir, smacked. We broke out the weapons <laughs> as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent, given the situation. We'll be down a man with Scott out. I heard what happened. Your brother's strong. He'll make it. better 600 year nap and he oversleeps you know him never was an early riser so what are we like 30 since Just 634 don't years they need don't look you sharp. Maybe. yes sir he's you got a your mom would have been proud got an oddly Both shaped head <laughs> Like from the side, it's just like, oh. Okay, team, listen up. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate. He looks like the preset the brother. Like me. <laughs> we dream of exploring the unknown, finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up. We kept dreaming that our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. Okay, so this is the planet that we were looking for the whole time, basically? Mm -hmm. I think maybe he's like your best friend or something. Yeah. Be stuck in it or something. Right. Like, how do you not? S <laughs> like, how do you not see that while you're flying? Like, oh, that must be safe. Let's just fly through it. Maybe she wasn't even paying attention. She has other people flying it. She's just in command. Oh, okay. But she has other people flying it. Well, they'd be getting fired today. Oh no, okay, he's not. He's not your friend. Right? Apparently not. What was his name? Liam. Liam Neeson. <laughs> So 
cold. It's snowing. Why aren't you in the same shuttle as your father? Because he's that type of guy. Put her in the other shuttle. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable having to talk to her on the way down. Mm. Look, look. Dang, I just got a I just got woke up like 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago. And he about to die! <laughs> we just met! Liam! No! Liam! I love their suits. Like it's so cool looking. Okay. Don't jump jet, it's Died that day. Well, that's the end of the game. We all <laughs> die. <laughs> Yo, that would be a terrible death. Like, you just get woken up for the first time in 600 years and your mask cracks and you're dead. <laughs> or your plane crashes, then your mask cracks, and then you're dead. I'm dead! Lucky you ain't got no broken limbs. I mean, look at this, like, Looks like we're find some high could you imagine living on that? No, you can't even breathe the air. Alright guys, we're going to end the episode there. First contact. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. We'll see you in the next episode. Have a peachy day. Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terry Cognita.